depression. So we have all experienced depression before. And here's one big thing I found, guys. Oftentimes, depression is simply a notification letting you know that you must do something to bring up your vibrational frequency. Look at everything as energy. See, depression can only exist in a low vibrational state. And so if you bring up your frequency with physical exercise or helping another person or channeling that energy into creating or building something, that will help free you from that negative internal state. Now, oftentimes, guys, and depression can be can be very unique. I believe depression is instilled within you simply as a notification to let you know, hey, you have more fucking potential. There is more that you can do. There is something that you need to do that you are being called to do. And until you do that, you're going to feel that state of depression inside because it's simply a notification letting you know you have greater potential than what you're currently doing with your time and with your energy. And so sometimes, guys, for example, people who are truly working on themselves, who are consistently making moves, they're helping other people, they can still experience depression because sometimes it's simply, it, the depression is there sometimes for you to sit with and feel and kind of tune in and figure out there's something else I need to do. It's simply a notification, guys. It's letting you know. It doesn't necessarily always mean you're doing something right. Now, a lot of the fucking time in today's society, most people are creating their own state of depression with their bullshit habits. More on that in a minute. But sometimes, guys, if you're consistently taking action and you're doing things to better yourself or build your life, you can still experience depression because it's simply letting you know there's something else that I must do. There is something else. There's another outlet that I could be channeling my time, energy, and attention into to, above all, serve humanity and help other people because that is the surest way to free yourself from depression. And sometimes that can look like simply doing things to build yourself or make you the best you because just by being and embodying your greatest version, you are being of service to others. When you get your ass in shape, you get your vibration up with exercise, you do things just simply better yourself. This allows you to be of service to others because you're embodying an energy that is helpful, that's a high vibration. And so you're uplifting others simply by being the best you. And so oftentimes, that can be the number one way to free yourself from depression. Physical exercise, physical expression. This can be dancing, swimming, running, things that give you that endorphin rush. When you're physically active and you use your fucking body, the cells within you vibrate at a faster pace. When you're sedentary and you're sitting, the energy within you vibrates at a lower frequency, begins to stagnate, okay? Being inactive and sedentary will breed states of depression, especially if you're young, you have energy, or if you're just healthy and you're capable of using your fucking physical body. If you're not working out or doing some kind of physical exercise or physical movement every single day, that's the first fucking place to start if you're experiencing any kind of depression. Number fucking one, if you are not working out consistently, and yes, every fucking day, I don't care how tired you are, I don't care how you feel, you can do something every single day, whether this is a simple walk, a light jog, five, ten minutes of bodyweight exercise, start with fucking that and just see how you fucking feel. Now, if you're somebody who's already consistently physically active, Sometimes that alone isn't going to be enough. You must serve or help somebody else. The surest way to free yourself from that state of depression, if not physical expression and exercise, is going to be to do something to spread positive energy or spread love or spread some kind of service or help to other people or even to animals simply to be of service to something other than you, okay? I really want to dive into this because oftentimes the most selfish people are depressed as fuck because they're always focusing on themselves. They're always focusing on what they want and how they feel and they're not getting out of their little box to help other people. They sit in their comfort zone and they indulge in pleasure and instant gratification. See, this is what I 
really want you to understand, guys. Not all depression is simply means you're doing something wrong, but 99% of these people out here who are dealing with this chronic state of depression where they're just always depressed, they always feel like shit, it's because you look at their fucking habits. Look how they're fucking spending their time and their energy. They're eating added sugar and BS bullshit food they're putting in their body, disrupting their hormones, their gut bacteria. It's affecting their mind, the way that they feel. Their health is fucking suffering. That will breed it for fucking sure. They're inactive. They're sitting on their ass, not using or getting the vibration up within their physical body so that energy begins to stagnate. And I want to tell you guys, inactivity breeds doubt. It breeds fear. It breeds depression. It breeds low vibrational states. They love it when you don't use your fucking body, okay? So those are two big things right off the fucking bat. Individuals who eat a fucking terrible diet and they don't use their fucking body sitting in your comfort zone. They sit and they scroll, they look at social media, or they just spend all their time playing video games or just indulging in entertainment. Okay, you're not channeling and using your time, energy, and attention into things that will build or better yourself or serve other people. And so if everything you're doing is just for your own pleasure and your own entertainment, you will be fucking depressed, okay? So sitting in your comfort zone, not being physically active, eating bullshit food, okay? Also substances that goes kind of ties in with the food, consumption for pleasure. You're consistently consuming things for pleasure. You're smoking shitloads of weed. You're drinking regularly, okay? Any other substances that you're doing, they you get that little high initially, but then it comes with that low afterward. That's your consequence for choosing that constant instant gratification and indulging in pleasure. What comes up is going to come down. So the more you're indulging in pleasure and feel-good activities, the more low you're going to feel when that initial little dopamine rush wears off. Here's a big fucking one for a lot of you guys. self pleasure looking at pornography if you are beating your meat consistently that's one big fucking thing that's going to keep you in a state of depression even if you're working out consistently even if you're eating really good even if you're not drinking or smoking a bunch of weed okay if you're playing with yourself if you are releasing your sexual energy that will deplete you of vitality that will fucking zap your dopamine receptors and just make you numb and just feel uh, it desensitizes the fuck out of you to the simplest pleasures in life, okay? So, let's kind of wrap this up right now, okay? What breeds fucking depression? Bullshit food, eating heavily processed food, we're talking fast food, a lot of added sugar, you're not eating nutritious whole foods, and so this affects your gut microbiome, and that in turn affects your hormones, your mental space, your mind, your mood, okay? Eating bullshit food. Two, physically inactive, probably one of the biggest ones. These two things you need to fucking start with, okay? Your physical fitness and your nutrition needs to be on fucking poor. On point because your physical body, if you're not taking care of it, you are going to breed a state of depression, okay? This physical body, you must take the action to align it with its greatest potential and its greatest health with the actions that you're taking. You're putting good things in it. You're not putting the bullshit in it and you're moving it. You're strengthening it. You're exercising it consistently, okay? Eating properly, using your fucking body. Three, sitting in your comfort zone, indulging in pleasure, instant gratification, staring at screens, playing video games, okay? Using substances, you're using substances, alcohol, drinking, fucking smoking a bunch of weed, any other substances, they will always come with a low. Self-pleasure, five, playing with yourself, depleting yourself of your sexual energy, and just giving yourself these massive fucking boosts of dopamine without any reward, okay, well, excuse me, without any fucking work to earn that fucking reward, okay, so you're teaching yourself to be addicted to pleasure, you're teaching yourself to receive these big ass hits of dopamine in pleasure, in reward, without doing any fucking work, okay? So these are going to be some of the biggest fucking things that will breed a state of depression. So number one, the number one place to start if you are feeling depressed, use your fucking body every single day 
in one form or another. You must be physically active. If you have a fucking healthy body that you can use, start with physical exercise. Remove the bullshit habits. Remove the instant gratification, the junk food, the substances, the self-pleasure, okay? That's why I say 99% of people look at their fucking habits. Look how they're spending their time in their energy on a daily basis. That's why they're fucking depressed. Their habits are aligning them with BS. They're channeling their time, energy, and attention into self-pleasure, into serving them in what feels good right now. They're not disciplining themselves. They're not consistently active, and they're treating their body like fucking shit. This will breed states of depression because it's all about you, 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 okay? And then other things, biggest cure, making sure that you're taking care of you and eradicating the BS habits but then if you're doing all that right, you can still experience depression. And that's where service comes in. You will be instilled with that state of depression oftentimes as a notification letting you know there's something more that you can do to help other people. You have more potential than what you're currently doing. There's something else that needs your attention. Something else wants to be created through you. Something else people need to be served through you, okay? There's certain things that must be done that you can do to better help uplift other human beings. And so in the event that you're doing everything right, you're taking great care of you, you're consistently active, but you still feel that depression, take time to sit with that feeling, tune in, maybe go out in nature, meditate, okay? Do something or simply sit or do gentle activities and just kind of tune in with yourself. What is it that I'm being called to do? You can pray, you can ask for guidance from that source, from that higher power, but understand that if you are doing everything right to align you with your greatest potential, but you're still experiencing that depression, it's simply a notification letting you know there's something more that you can do. There's something better and greater that needs your attention and that that can be channeled through you because it's, it's a fucking notification, guys. I want you to look at it as a notification from that source, from that higher power, whatever you want to call it, you will be instilled with a state of depression, not always because you're doing something wrong. Like I said, most people look at their fucking habits. They're misaligning themselves in all these ways. That's why they're depressed. But if you're still doing everything right, you feel that depression, tune in with yourself. What is it that I need to create? Who is it that I need to serve? What can I do to better serve and help other people? That will be the surest way to free yourself from depression because here's one big thing, guys. Oftentimes, people who are chronically depressed is because they're always serving them. It's all about them and what they want and how they feel and what, what, what makes them feel good, okay? Selflessly being of service is the surest way to free depression. When you know that you are uplifting people in some way, when you are helping other human beings, that frees, that's what lifts up your spirit and frees you from depression. Like, for example, guys, if I didn't make these fucking videos that I do, if I didn't help and coach people the way that I do, I'd be depressed as fuck because I wouldn't be living in a, up, living in alignment to that higher calling that I have to be a fucking service. And so I would be instilled with the state of depression if I was choosing to slack, if I was choosing to not be the best me for others, if I was choosing to say, oh, I don't want today, I don't want to make a video, I don't want to do coaching, I just, I just want to do me today, okay? I will be instilled with that state of depression as a fucking consequence, okay? So understand, to wrap this up, guys, biggest things to focus on, number fucking one, if you're experiencing depression, you must be physically fucking active. If you're not doing that, that's the first fucking place to start. You must be using your physical body every single day day. This is why I work out multiple times a day. You don't have to destroy yourself like I fucking do, but you must consistently be moving your body throughout the day. Keep your vibration up with physical exercise and activity or physical movement, physical expression. Cut the BS habits, the self-pleasure, the alcohol, the drugs, the junk food, okay? Sitting around and just sitting in your comfort zone and indulging in feel-good activities, okay? Cut the BS habits. And number three, biggest of all, be of service to others. Channel your time, energy, and attention into creating things that will help other people or just directly helping or uplifting other human beings in some way. Spread positive energy, spread service, 
okay? These are the biggest things that you can do to free yourself from depression. Look at depression as a notification, letting you know you have more potential. There is more that you can do. If your actions aren't in alignment with that higher calling, you will be instilled with that state of depression, letting you know, hey, motherfucker, until you do what you know you're capable of, what you're being called to do, you are going to feel this low state within yourself. Make sure your fucking habits are in alignment with the greatest you mentally, physically, and your health is in alignment. You're taking the action to align you with the greatest you, and then make sure once you're aligned that you're aligning yourself that you're using your time, energy, and attention to help other people and create and be of service to uplift humanity in any way that you can. I love you guys.